Mad Day. Ladies and gentlemen, Andy and Virgin 5 in the building! Hell yeah! <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you been? Good, good. Did I get on too early? No, you're exactly no, you're the good, most Bernie. the most punctual ever. I was like, they should be here any second. <laughs> there he is! Hey! <laughs> Looks like your brother's hopping. Now you're muted. Now is now you're muted. He's working on it. He's working on it. But uh, dude, how you been? I know. Uh, are you in Minnesota right now? You know what? Yep. Because I know that you you frequent there, you eh? frequently travel like all over the place. Where where have you been? Uh, where have you been traveling lately? Uh, I was actually out in L.A. a couple times this month. Long Island, New York. Um, Spencer in my day job involves filming video, so I travel doing that when I'm not playing music. Bef while we're waiting for Spencer to hop in, and his mic is now on, uh, as we as we show some of your guys' videos and play some of your music, where could somebody go to hire you guys if they wanted some kind of work done from you, whether it be film work or video stuff, graphics? Where could they go to hire you? Um, we have a website uh, for our video, which is Olson uh, dot media, and then we have version five music dot com. Uh, Facebook pages, version five, uh, version five music. So anyway, you can find us on Facebook or on our websites. We're available. Spencer saying it says video sharing is disabled by admin, but can you see what's on my screen right now, Andy? Y yep. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if he leaves and comes right back. So sometimes like teams has errors, errors like this. We don't, we don't know. I don't know. So. It looks, it looks like Air he is going to try that. For now, let's go ahead and play Close My Eyes. Do you want to do you want to cue up this song? Like talk about in particular like this video to me is fun and and funky and cool just because uh not only do you guys have the the upright guitar but can you just talk about this particular track and what it means to you? Yeah, um it was the first song we got to write with a drummer. I mean, BG, you remember when it's just the two of us. So this is kind of our first song as a band. And um I started out with the riff like years ago and then Spencer made a few synths and we just kind of it was like pulling teeth until it was easy to write if that makes sense. It does and make then, sense. As far Yeah, and then as far as the video we thought it'd be funny or at least cool to have like an image that does not meet the sound of the song at all. So we're like, this is kind of a hard, straightforward rock song. Why don't we become a jazz trio <laughs> for it? And then it also came out in 2020. So we figured we'd bring back the roaring twenties. So cool. I can dig it. And we are now also joined by Spencer of version five. Yeah, hell yeah. Good to see you. Give me a hell yeah. Actually, how are you, buddy? How have you been? I'm good. I'm good. Can you hear me and everything? We can. We can. We can. Uh, we good. got all the technical difficulties worked out now. Hell yeah. We're going to we're gonna start off with, the, with Close My Eyes. We were just talking about uh, the experience of this song, having the drummer for the first time, and uh, just in general... Um, this track, so we're gonna play it, and then, of course, we have some questions for you as well, sir. Is this, uh, where was this video filmed at? It was at a, uh, it was a place in Minneapolis that's no longer there, um, but it was a speakeasy, like, club uh, restaurant called Al's Place, and uh, we rented the place out for a day and shot it there, but yeah, now it's just some kind of generic sports bar bullshit, but <laughs> we got it when it was cool. For some reason, oh, there we go. I have to just type it like that, and then it pops up. Um, hell yeah, dude! Uh, because you guys are from Minnesota, we're all Vikings fans. What What do you think about the hire no, we're not. as far as the new coach? I'm sorry, Lloyd isn't a Vikings fan, but uh, what do you think about the new coach? I I think we needed fresh blood. I like that he's a younger guy. The Vikings are usually never terrible, but we're usually not great. And I was kind of sick of being middle of the road. And this guy is either going to succeed. I mean, he has a Super Bowl ring now. 
or he's going to fail. And I'd rather know one way or the other instead of doing this complacent thing we've been doing for the last five years. He brought a lot of the Rams staff with him. So I like that. He brought two or three coordinators yep. and special teams play, uh, coaches and stuff like that with him. So I definitely did I that. Love it. Let's play. Let's play an it. older one. Let's play. Let's play. Take you there. A little bit of an older one. Can we talk about this All particular right. track? Yeah, uh, this one was was actually co-written and produced with Jeff Blue, uh, who actually did Hybrid Theory and Meteora with Lincoln Park. So wow. it definitely has that uh, Lincoln Park flair. And it was also written with Sahaj. Uh, if you guys know the band called Ra R A. Yeah. Um, he also he was the producer on it. So, how did you link link up with the Lincoln Park guy? We a, pl- yeah. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, we we played a music festival in Cleveland, Ohio, in 2012, and he was friends with the guy who put on the festival, so he was there, and we met him. And honestly, it was cool that he said okay to work with us because i mean our songwriting and everything we were pretty new and it was pretty rough stuff so when we went out there we were not prepared but (laughs) we came out with something we liked and we learned like in three days how to write songs you know so it was an insane learning curve you know that's awesome that's awesome we're hanging out with version five guys if you're enjoying the tunes Please hit the YouTube subscribe button and the bell, <laughs> fellas. I know I know you're super busy with all the with all the graphic work and music videos and stuff like that. But what can we expect from the band the rest of 2022? We, uh, I, I know it's it's like such a generic thing to say, but, you know. But it's like we do have we have music. We have music uh, that we're sitting on that's done. Um, the biggest thing is we're just kind of trying to get our ducks in a row so to speak and kind of prep for release properly so we don't just spit out a bunch of songs out of nowhere without doing it the right way you know so it i don't know what it'll be if it's just going to be a handful of singles in a row um or if we do like an ep release i'm not totally sure yet but we do have a, a handful of songs that it's only a matter of time here in the next few months or so that we'll start actually uh putting putting new stuff out there so I'd like you to expand on that because a lot of people don't actually know like how long artists have songs done, ready to go. They've listened to a show with their friends but are waiting for the right time to release it. What's like the old, like, how long have you held on to a song before you were able to drop it? I mean, one thing I guess we want to change the most most is that we've always waited on songs for years before releasing them. So we're trying to get more proactive, but, um, Obviously, local band Smoke Out, you have a lot of indie bands. Um, it's getting the budget together. It's getting a publicist. It's hopefully making playlist connections on Spotify. Because, I mean, if it doesn't get playlisted in the first 48 hours, it kind of loses its steam. And, mm-hmm. and we're not professionals at this. We're not telling people how to do it. We just know from what not to do at this point. So we're trying to trying to do everything right and like spencer said we have an ep's worth of material like done done and then probably another five songs that are 70 percent there yeah so there's there's a lot of stuff um and trista uh cell dwellers label we just did the one single with him we did say goodbye uh with with their label it's called fixed uh, specifically like uh, electronic rock label. So it was very fitting. Was, they were great. I loved working with them. We we would do stuff with them in the future. We They just, um, some of the stuff that we're going to be releasing is a little less their genre specifically. And we're kind of going a, a little bit all over the place with the genre choice actually, which I'm excited about. But um, yeah, so that was just one tune through them, but we'll see what happens. We might do more of them in the future. I'm not sure. So is, is this the video where you guys are like, in like a a gym where there's like a a band there's like a pool but the pool's drained and is that this that this music yeah. video? Yeah. Okay, I think this yep. was one of the first ones I ever heard from you guys right here. I think. Uh, why don't yeah, you drop? I think it was. Yep. A Beck tone of guitar right there, and just in that little spot, like some just that little way that is mixed right there. It's an abandoned school, or where where is this location? Same. 
Yeah, St. Cloud State, uh, which is where we both went to college. And um, they were nice enough to let us shoot there for free. And it was a building. It's like one of the oldest buildings on campus that uh, is abandoned now. It used to be their, like, sports facility or whatever. And, um, and yeah, BG, that guitar, that, that Beck sounding guitar is actually, an, like, a really shitty recorded acoustic guitar in our basement from, like, 2010 probably a few years before the song ever even came out just recorded on a really shitty microphone in our basement <laughs> oh that's cool how you worked it in and it, you can't tell like it just has like a cool little spot right there like it, it sits in nicely in that little spot but it has its own like little funk on it i like that are you guys down to uh, review some bands with us and or do some trivia all the above you know all the above Danny, tell, excellent tell, tell excellent this. Minnesota <laughs> over there. She might as well be here right now. She got a ton of questions. She loves you guys. Yep. I'll, yep, I'll switch with on. you, girl. <laughs> Dude, love Trista. Hell yeah. <laughs> See? Come hey, on. I'm new here. Hey. Trista, Hi. drop a couple in chat. We'll we'll uh, we'll ask them, or they can see them. So yeah, just go ahead and drop them. Thanks for the follow, yeah, I'm uh, JF. I'm Blick. answering in the chat. I know you are. I was just being funny. <laughs> Judgment. And we'll go with uh, we'll go with November. Let's go with November. You guys are brothers. What is one show that you could agree on if you had to go on a long tour? Let's say it's a cross country tour, but you can only binge watch this show on the tour. I'm going to base my trivia around that. What show would you pick? Oh, bro, we gotta we gotta throw our our you know any pride away and just be like it's fucking Pokemon, dude. Uh, no. no. Well, I mean, it's it's not as low as you would think, but no, nah, I don't think we could just do that on the tour. I, I no, but you're say, talking trivia. You're talking trivia because you're gonna loop trivia into this. I am, like, and I there's can't... a lot of seasons and then continuations of it. So that's a hard one. That that, that is a hard end. one to pick. You should probably pick a show that has less seasons, <laughs> for sure. I I mean, oh. honestly, for for us, we like stupid humor i i would think it would be like family guy or king of the hill yeah yeah that's let's do king of the guy. hill we'll do king of the hill my tour bus will have nothing but rick and morty playing 24 <laughs> 7 non-stop there you go. this is this is shibble who i believe followed us earlier today shibble right here new track with oha you guys think of that one kind of chill yeah i, I dug it yeah i dug it it's cool it was cool. Like you said, a little different, but um, I, I was I was digging it. Here is your King of the Hill first trivia question. Luann accidentally joins a cult. What was the name of the cult she joined? Oh, yeah. Ow, oh, Peter. Yeah, I would have been better with Family Guy trivia. This is going to be embarrassing. I'll give you a hint. She thought it was a sorority. So it has like a traditional sorority kind of yeah, name. Yeah, like Gamma Phi. Something, something, something. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get That's it. That's an eh. <laughs> No worries. No worries. Let's go Renaissentia uh, with uh, Lovebirds. This is at Renaissentia Band on Facebook. Boy, I'll tell you what, Luann done went to that Omega, that Omega house and goddamn son of mother f talking about. <laughs> it's like, oh, come on, a hot sauce fig Newton. M sh Damn it. <laughs> Yuck. It is what Dude, it is. Dude, I would join in, but I don't have a hot sauce fig Newton. It's all good. I know you guys are whiskey connoisseurs. What what is the best whiskey that ever graced your lips? Pendleton oh. Canadian whiskey. It's not even close. Pendleton Canadian. Yep. Is that an expensive? Yeah. I'm actually. No, no it's, it's a, not it, that bad actually, considering it. But it it tastes better than any of the top shelf stuff that they try to claim is better. Are you are you a Scotch guy? Because that's the one kind of whiskey like it just loses me. You know, I'm not. I'm I'm more of just a generic whiskey guy. Just like your Jacks, your Jims. Uh, if I'm lucky yep. and I'm out and about and it is purchased for me, the Johnny Blue, 
but I would never buy it. Yep. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, but other than that, like, nah. I'm if if it's the right occasion and party, uh, maybe like a Scotch on the Rocks for sipping reasons with like a cigar. But I'd probably smoke one cigar a year. Like, but that would be like the time yeah. I would probably do like that a would be the only time to do it. That yeah. would be the one yeah. time to do it for sure. This is the only way you can get the scotch down is with a cigar, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Speak of the devil. Gentlemen, oh, let me go to let me go that. jump in wardrobe real quick and uh Unfortunately Arnold has arrived. Gentlemen. I'm sorry this is the worst segment ever in the entire show. I apologize, but what other versions five song would you like me to play? <laughs> oh my Stop God, it! So good. Just pick a song. This is not humor. This is serious. I can't. Um. Oh my! God. It's so good, dude. Uh, I think we we should probably push uh say goodbye since that's the most recent one. Um. Yeah, I think that's a good one. You got it. Say goodbye. Hanging out with version five. Dang, the newest one, most numbers. People seem to really like that one, man. I, I think it's one of my faves too. But I don't think I've ever asked you guys this. How did you come up with the name version five? I'm stealing a question from Trista, but I don't think I've ever asked you that. How did you come up with that? Uh, it's it, you know, it's not gonna blow any minds, but um, it's it was the our fifth band iteration that Andy and I had had worked on so and it's also like when it when we're doing videos or any like file naming if you're like doing stuff and you're working on a video or on a song you do v1 v2 v3 v4 you know what i mean as you export stuff out um if you're organized we, you do yeah right exactly or it's just final 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 <laughs> final 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 but uh we should have just named our band final 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 <laughs> but um yeah so it was just like the the name that um we feel like V5 is the one that you that you usually like land on, like that's your your final version or whatever. So that's about it. Which one of you two can play the Pokemon theme song on guitar? And I know one of you can. Well, it wouldn't be me. Yeah. <laughs> no. Never learned it. Interesting. Bummer. Disappointing everyone today. Sorry yeah, from that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a Family Guy quiz, or as we speak, by the way. So give me just a second. But let's throw in. Uh, let's see. Let's throw in the only one we haven't played. I think is Memoir on our on our Facebook supporter list. Memoir. M e e o i r e. Nope. O. Spelled it wrong. Oh, I say yeah on that one. Yep. Yeah, I love that. Is the industrial sound effects and ambient noises and stuff like, and then they chopped up some of the guitar tracks. Like, yeah, that's, that's good shit. Mm -hmm. Lloyd, what'd you think? I will yay that. It reminds me of something old school, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Some of the, it's kind of nineties industrial in some ways, but with modern production more modern production, but it had a little bit of, you know, a little bit of ministry or, Rammstein parts in there. Definitely. A little, uh, yeah, I guess so. I definitely heard the industrial uh, side of it for sure, but let's see if you can redeem yourself on this family guy question right here. <laughs> Jonathan Weed, who was Peter's late boss, choked on this that led to his death. What did he choke on? that caused him to die at a dinner at the Griffins. I feel like I've matured in my years. Yeah, no, I don't know. Chat, let's see if Did you know. Somebody, no. somebody spat something else out and then he choked on it. Go ahead. Oh, Mad Dog is correct. It was It was a dinner roll. Mr. Weed choked on a dinner <laughs> roll at the dinner at the Griffins. No charges were filed, but the dinner roll was taken into police custody. That's what it says right there. Uh, fellas, we got time for one more one more track. Your pick. Anything cool. from your entire catalog. Um, Andy, go ahead. Uh, we did a remix of um, Absolute Zero 
and it was what do we call it, Spence? What what one yeah. is that? Yeah, the gravity mix. Yeah, gravity mix. And that's yep. it's just something different. Like it's not rock, so it's just if someone wants to hear something a little different from us, I guess. Did you guys do the remix, or you you had somebody actually create it for you? We had two other artists do an absolute zero remix, and then we also did our own remix. So we ended up having kind of three remixes. Did you drop this all one of them? Is ours. Did you yeah. drop? You dropped all the of them. Gravity mixes is, is ours, and then there's uh, the other two. One of them's from Das Kapital. He's a guy from South Africa, and then the other one is a guy called the Annex, and he's on the fixed label also. So, cool. I think I'm behind on a fig new. The dubstep. Did you guys use Massive to get all the sounds, or what program did you use? That was massive for some of it, but the main, like the main wobbles, were um, uh, serum. How long does it take you to find the perfect? I think at least it, for me, it was more about just us. Uh, I mean, just scanning through. I, I don't. Well, honestly, that track, yeah, it took a while, but um, serum, I think, is like it, serum. Basically, is meant for that kind of stuff. So it doesn't, it's not like it takes you super long. It, it kind of leans into that sound automatically. So you can kind of dial it in from there. Cool. Hell yeah. What, find the perfect. Couple questions left. What would you guys say is the best advice you were ever given from someone in the music industry? You can do anything you want. You can do anything in life you want to. Just don't be a fucking bitch. There it is. <laughs> Um, I feel like I got most of the, my good advice from people outside of the music industry and then just implemented it. <laughs> That's okay. It. You can you answer, I mean? you can answer that way too. What would be like a good example of something that you can recall? I think it's more just, again, it's kind of a generic answer, but I think it's more just about not worrying about fitting into something and just being perseverance because, you know, we struggled a bit with um, like finding an audience in general, because we're, we're, we don't fit into rock. We don't fit into what a lot of people consider industrial. We don't fall into a genre that people typically I think can like market, but we're like, well, we're going to do it anyways. And so we've just kind of stuck with it. And um, yeah, I think that's really that's really it. Just sticking with it, with your vision, regardless of, of you know, trying to form fit yourself into something else that you don't think is going to work. You know. I love it. Breaking down the walls, breaking down the barriers. <laughs> breaking the law. Breaking the law. What is the best? I think. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andy. Ahead. Andy, you go. I apologize. Oh no, no, go ahead. It's all good. I was just gonna say, what, what, what would that you? Important to say. <laughs> what would you guys consider the the best album? ever made any genre one album but it can't be a greatest hits this artist produced this and this is your favorite produced album or just your favorite album ever made um i'm gonna be a little bit wishy-washy because i mean I, I do think the beatles went on a run there where you could say rubber soul revolver and sergeant pepper all in a row could be the best record ever made um, my dark horse is cause it just doesn't give it as much love, but the, f the first cars album, the cars from like the late seventies, it you'll, you'll think it's a greatest hits record and it's not, it's just fantastic all the way through. So probably that, that album, the cars debut. Yeah. Cool. Spence, what you got? Dude, that's such a loaded question. Um, I mean, my brain would probably go towards a Nine Inch Nails record. Um, I love Nine Inch Nails, but I don't know if, man, it's it's hard because I think I love Nine Inch Nails and I love the records, but they're also not my most, like, listened to, to where I go out of my way to listen to it, which I think is a totally different thing. You know, like what I choose to listen to in my own time versus what I think would be the best. But uh yeah, I'd probably go with a, a Nine Inch Nails record, either Year Zero or, I mean, obviously Pretty Hate Machine's great, but, um, or even more recent, they're, they're, um, some of the more recent work is really, 
been fantastic. So probably in that realm. I think further down the downward spiral is probably my favorite. But uh, uh, Trista wants to know if you guys, uh, how would somebody go about hiring you to do a lyric video? Is if that's part is that's in your catalog, correct? Producing lyric videos. Yep. So that's absolutely that also um, be Olson Studios dot media. Yep. That or um, if people are on Facebook, I mean, we have an Olson Studios page or version five. It always goes to the two of us. So if you just message us or email us. Uh, yeah, we're definitely open to that for sure. What color do you want to dye your hair that you haven't yet? <laughs> both of you well i was i was red for the longest time and i'm probably just going to go back to it but uh, i do have a scheduled appointment coming up that's going to be a whole variety of those tones so rose gold red orange yellow it's going to be the whole gamut so we'll see okay. what that looks like in about a month <laughs> same question for andy um Purple for the Vikes. Hell I yeah. yeah. Give me a hell yeah. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> but <laughs> what I haven't done, I think I could kind of pull off like the uh, Corella DeVille white and black, kind of like one side and the other. Yeah, that'd be it. Are you I'll guys in the same house right now in different it. parts of it? No. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> right. it kind of looks like he's in the attic, and I was wondering if he was in a room. It looks like Andy's in like a private awesome. sauna, actually. <laughs> From the angle I'm looking at, it looks like he's in a private sauna. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So oh, I saw, oh, I saw the, damn, bro. I saw, I saw the wood background, and I was like, dang, he's in there just yep. getting steam, chilling, on, just kicking it. No, the, <laughs> it's, it's the most midwestern thing ever. But I actually live above a horse barn, so hey, <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. You, man, that's what you love. <laughs> some pillbilly shit going up on up in here <laughs> that is fantastic hell yeah well fellas we appreciate you stopping by hanging out with us uh really quick so lloyd yeah. lloyd like two weeks ago came up with um he can't wear the local band smoke out shirts to his job so he came up with the idea that we we needed uh a, a play on on the show so we thought all we had to do was swap out the weed leaf with a barbecue grill and then people are like, oh, yeah, we're we're going to the barbecue smoke out, blah, blah, blah. It's a little play on. So hopefully we'll work that in soon. I know I know Spence knows what I'm talking about, but uh, man, I'm that... already working on it, dude. Hell Let yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. It, it, yeah, it's in progress for sure. It's going to be great. It's just like it's literally the same logo, but with like a super funny little cute grill instead. It's great. It's That's perfect. awesome. So it's it's like a trick. People won't know that it's a weed related show, but it's uh, still still uh, supporting yeah, bands music and stuff related show. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, gentlemen, Spencer and Annie, we appreciate you guys. Uh, you guys are awesome, man. We've, we've been jamming the music for a while. We absolutely love what you guys do, but you guys also do fantastic graphic work, um, which I know is your main nine to five. Please, 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 guys, if you need any work done, uh, olsonstudios.media, please go check it out, support them. Uh, but also, please go on Spotify, check out version five, jam some of their tunes, show your buddies. That'd be awesome. Spencer and Andy of version five, everybody. Hell yeah. yeah hell yeah. Awesome. Thanks for having us. Thank you, fellas. We'll be chatting soon. We'll be chatting soon.